now is a great time to plant shrubs in your landscape. We recently Skyped with Anna Marie from Bachman's Nursery, who showed us a few flowering varieties that will give your garden gorgeous color for the rest of summer. Anna Marie, it's great to see you, and uh, I love shrubs. They make your yard, they make your yard look great, and they're also pretty easy for right. people to take care of, right? <laughs> yeah. They are. They really are. And you know, right now is a perfect time to plant just because it is cooler. Spring has always been a great time to plant, but right now this week is especially great. So um, yeah, it's, it's shrubs are so versatile. They're just fantastic to have in your garden, whether you're new to gardening or you've been gardening all your life, adding shrubs can really make a difference in your landscape. They are versatile, but do you have any suggestions on if people are interested, you know, having some kind of color like that uh, and where you should put them in your garden? Absolutely. So, you know, from anything from lands, uh, if you need a, um, let's say a foundation planting, you can do hedges, creating privacy hedges, or just having that kind of specimen plant in the corner. A lot of people use shrubs to define their garden borders. Um, and some just want to have that pop of color. And that's really what we're, we're looking at today and talking about is how do we extend that season of interest from just summer and fall into actually that early springtime. All right. Show us some of the shrubs that you brought. <laughs> Absolutely. So up here, this is the uh, one of the azaleas that we have. It's beautiful, candy lights. Um, azaleas range anywhere from pink, oranges, red colors in your garden. We do have some forsythias. Those are going to be those bright pops of yellow that you see early spring when you're driving around your neighborhood. And then over here, we have a couple different lilacs. Um, this is going to be anywhere between whites, pinks, and purples are your normal lilac colors. And then they're all going to be Awesome. But the other great thing about them is not only do they add that spring color, but they provide that really beneficial uh, nectar and pollen for those early beneficial insects that just came out of a long winter. So after the spring, what do they start looking like in, in, in your summer as we head into fall? Yeah, absolutely. So once the blooms fade, you just have really nice, gorgeous green shrubs. So they do still add some nice greenery to your landscape and they kind of add that foundation um, planting look of just having some stability in shrubs. But yep, once the once the blooms are gone, you'll have just a really nice green shrub. If you're going to plant, I see you have some uh, little advice for people to get that done right now. Absolutely. So first and foremost, the most important thing is always call 811. Um, you can go online and submit a ticket as well. But ba basically, it's a free service. They will come out and they will mark that area so that you can dig knowing you are safe and you are not going to run into any hazards with electricity or power lines or utilities. So that's step number one. And then number two is just gather everything you need before you get planting. Um, just, uh, you know, right here we have a, a bag of mulch. Uh, we have some good old compost, uh, plant starter, and then never forget your shovel and your gloves. Those are important too. So have everything before you get going. Yeah, don't forget your gloves there. Keep your hands clean, yes. but also yes. I got a couple <laughs> blisters already from everything over the yes. weekend. Anna Marie, yeah, we'll have it. that's right. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you, guys. All right. The